Hello, I would like to welcome everyone and I would like to thank the organizing committee for the opportunity to present our research experimental evaluation of the stress intensity factors, T stress and higher order coefficients of the Williams series expansion by digital photoelasticity method and by finite element analysis. Experimental and numerical determination of the stress strain of field in the vicinity of the crack tip in isotropic linealistic materials has been an area of wide research for many years and the con problem continues to be actual and vital nowadays. The photoelasticity method, I would say, is currently undergoing a renaissance. After being developed and then largely abandoned, the photoelasticity method is now in active use and can be considered as a viable technique for determining stress fields in structural components. Interest in using digital, digital photoelasticity is now being fueled by possibility of digital processing of the entire set of experimental information. Owing to the increase in computing resources, the digital photoelasticity technique is now one of the powerful tools for, for investigating the stress field in solids. The advent of computers coupled with developments in digital image processing has had a great influence in developments of modern photoelasticity. Therefore, one can conclude that the digital optics revolution in recent years enhanced and empowered innovation in all areas of modern life and particularly for the elasticity is a well-developed method of, for reliable measurement of stress, strain and displacement distributions in engineering practice. In our study, for a better understanding of the multipoint approximation of the stress and displacement fields in the vicinity of the crack tip, uh, the digital photoelasticity is utilized for calculating the coefficients of the higher order terms of the Williams series expansion on the stress field in the vicinity of the crack tip. In this study, uh, we use a new type uh, of the cracked specimen, uh, namely the rectangular plate with two parallel inclined cracks. Uh, this type of the cracked specimen is useful for uh, the study of the mixed mode loading and then uh, the experimental photoelasticity results were compared with the corresponding values obtained by finite element analysis and uh, good agreement was observed. Uh, let me uh, show the classical Williams solution of the linear elastic fracture mechanics. And our aim is to compute uh, the coefficients A, uh, which are related to the, the geometric configuration uh, and uh, load. Uh, uh, we use uh, uh, digital photoelasticity method and uh, experimental setup is uh, shown uh, in uh, this uh, slide and we use uh, the uh, following 
correct specimen, namely the rectangular plate with two inclined parallel uh, crests. Uh, 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 the achromatic phase maps uh, obtain for different levels of load uh, are shown here. Uh, and uh, in order to obtain the fracture mechanics parameters, namely stress intensity factors, these processes, and higher order coefficients, we develop um, the special programming tool for digital image processing. The uh, tool uh, allows us to find the uh, points belong to the isochromatic fringe pattern with minimum uh, of light intensity. Here, green points uh, show the points with minimum light intensity. And the uh, programming tool allows us to save the uh, photomechanics parameters such as uh, coordinates of these points and the uh, order of the isochromatic fringes in a text file. And then this data uh, uh, are used for determination of the fracture mechanics uh, uh, here one can see uh, again the uh, green points belong to the uh, isochromatic fringe um, uh, along with the isochromatic phase maps uh, to separate the stress tensor components, we observed isoclinic phase maps for uh, the uh, correct uh, specimen uh, considered uh, uh, in the rectangular plate with two interacting uh, parallel inclined and uh, we use uh, the stress optic law which relates the fringe order and the principal stresses as. And uh, first, according to the classical procedure of the photoelasticity method, we introduce the error function uh, and we use the classical over deterministic method to uh, compute the unknown parameters and according to the over deterministic method initial estimates are made uh, for these unknown parameters and uh, uh, and possibly the error will not be zero as, as uh, the estimates are not accurate the estimates are corrected then using an iterative process based on the Taylor series expansion of the error function. And then we arrive uh, at the solution of the incremental change by solving a simple matrix problem. And we uh, obtain the coefficients uh, by the classical or deterministic method. But Along with the bro we, along with the over deterministic method, the Broad and Fletcher Goldfarb Shano algorithm has been used. I say. Uh, this method is an iterative method for solving nonlinear optimization problems. And this method now is regarded as the most popular, most 
popular and efficient quasi Newton algorithm. The optimization problem is to minimize uh, the error function. The algorithm was realized by the use of package SkyPy Optimize of Python. SkyPy Optimize provides functions for uh, minimizing or maximizing objective functions. It includes solvers for non-linear problems. Thus, we can minimize the, the error function directly without Taylor series expansion of the error function. The results are given in tables 1 and uh, 2. Having obtained the coefficients of the Williams series expansion for the stress and displacement field experimentally, we can compare the results with uh, the numerical uh, ones to verify the accuracy of experimentally measured uh, coefficients. And we use finite element analysis for the same time of the correct specimen. The results of the experiment uh, oh, and uh, finite element analysis are shown uh, here. Uh, it is shown that uh, it turns out that coefficients uh, obtained by the following elasticity and by finite element analysis uh, um, agree uh, with each other they coincide that is why i show just coefficients of the william series expansion obtained by the four elasticity method here one can see the coefficients of the higher order terms obtained for corrective and then uh, um, uh, table 2 shows coefficients of the William series expansion of the stress field uh, in display for crack tip B uh, in view of uh, symmetry of uh, this configuration the coefficients of the William series expansion for the plate uh, with two inclined parallel cracks for uh, crack tips C and D coincide with the results obtained for crack tips A uh, and uh, E. Thus, uh, in this uh, research, uh, first we perform the complete experimental and numerical procedure for determination of the crack tip fields in uh, a new type of uh, correct specimens and we use the digital image processing uh, of the uh, experimental isochromatic and isoclinic uh, data uh, and we develop a new uh, tool which allows us to find points that belong to isochromatic fringes with minimal light intensity. And uh, we use the Java application, which provides um, an analytical reconstruction of the crack tip stress field in the vicinity of the crack tip. And the novelty of uh, our research uh, is uh, that we use the Broden Fletcher Goldfarb Chano algorithm for minimization of the objective function. And uh, it is shown that uh, this method has undeni undeniable advantages over the classical, over deterministic method. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I am ready to answer the questions by email. Thank you uh, very much for your attention.